Hello again, everyone. This is Randy, your sewing machine man. And today we're talking about defective bobbins. Yep, they are uh, they're a problem right now. We're getting a lot of defective bobbins because they're just not being made to any kind of a standard uh, that they used to be made to. This, this started back about the year 2000, uh, from my memory. I remember uh, when I was doing all the Hancock fabric stores in the region, I had 50 Hancock stores that I serviced the machines regularly in three states. And all of a sudden, everybody's bobbin winder wasn't working. They were getting brand new machines. Bobbin winder wasn't working. Buying brand new bobbins, couldn't get them to work. Straight across the board. Just about every bobbin that came off the shelf was defective. Wow, that was a big deal to me. I thought, well, I got to let somebody know this. So I went to the higher ups at Hancock. So I knew a bunch of them because we were doing some pretty good sized deals, you know, uh, some moving some money around and uh, they were listening and I told them, got their attention. Almost, I told them, almost every bobbin you have up on your uh, wall there, Notions, is defective. Really? Uh, and I told them what I'm going to tell you now. I illustrated it a little bit quicker, uh, quicker, quicker, yeah, a little quicker than I did for you. But uh, they got the idea and they just said there's nothing they can do about it. Let's go to lunch. Okay. All righty. <laughs> can I do? But people are bringing me machines one after the other, one after the other. And not telling them you got a defective bobbin. What? It's brand new. So we think brand new, it must be perfect. Nope. Unfortunately, now, if you want a perfect bobbin, you'll have to go to a yard sale and find one that's in an old box from an old machine somewhere. That's sad, but that's where we are right now. Let me show you real quick what I'm talking about. The two basic types that we're having a big problem with are the ones that have the notch. Well, I told you about this a million times. That's when I got a ringer there. The notch. The notch has to fit on the pin. And there's a lot of machines out there, older ones that have the pin. Well, let me pick up the right one. The one with the pin is going to be this one right here. See the pin right there? That pin is the driver, and this has to slide over and snap on there. All right? And it has to fit over there. Well, well, it won't fit. Oh, the inside diameter must be too small. So therefore, it's defective. Are you kidding me? Pick up the next one. Came out of the same pack. How, how is it going to work? Oh, slides right on. You got to look and see. Is it stamped straight up and down like high noon? Or is it off to the side? Or did they hit it at a seam and compromise the whole bobbin? So every time I look at every bobbin, I have to check every one of them. When I order them, if I get a hundred or a thousand, I have to check every single one of them to see if they fit on here, if they slide over, are they bent to, oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. You pull a brand one out, brand new one, and look at that, and you can see that it is, it's bent. Look at that. That's bent like crazy. That's at, a, it's at an angle. You think, well, that, that'll work, right? No, it, it won't even go on. It won't even fit. The inside diameter is not made to the spec. And then the stamping on it is barely there. Just barely hit that thing. I don't know what they're doing. But I marked this one so I could find it. Not like it wouldn't stand out like a sore thumb. But you can't get it on. It's not going to, it's not going to whine. And if it gets on and this little notch here doesn't fit distinctly over that if it doesn't clip on and like let's let's get one that's pretty good here so let's look at these 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 look like they're really good yeah these are old school ones here from like a fof or something like that look how pronounced that's smooth boy that's machined in there so nice snap Oof, that goes on there that's money and that's nice and parallel that's very well made so you grab the next one you test it I do this every time every bobbin I get this has to be done snap fits on there spin it around nice and parallel you didn't have to do this back in the day you took it out of the pack and you knew it was going to be perfect because somebody at the factory already did this it's called quality control but now I'm in charge of quality control so I can buy 100 bobbins and 20 of them absolutely don't work now here's one just like this other one you say well those are this those are the same right ah there's a subtle difference this one this uh 
machine slot is a little bit further up. Not much, maybe a millimeter, half a millimeter. You say, well, what's different about this one? Well, look, it won't go on. It won't go on, absolutely won't work. I marked that one so I could tell. But look, you put, put these four together. One, two, three, four. They may be in, you may buy a four pack and they, be, they may be in the same pack and you go, cool, you try this one? You go, well, then these other ones are good too. I'll try this first one. That'll be a shortcut and I won't have to try these other three. You better, because one of them, the one I marked here, is bad out of the same batch. Try to put it on. It won't go. And you're like, well, now what's going on? It's frustrating, especially if you just bought the machine, you just bought the bobbins, you sat down to have a sewing experience, you put this on, and you're like, well, I'm done with this. This is nonsense. Yeah, those are the ones with the slots. Here's a bunch of others with slots. Some are pretty well pronounced. Some are just, they just barely, barely hit it. And some are so light, it's like not even, not even there. Where's the one I had? It was like, good Lord, tiny, tiny little, little notches. You can barely even see them. I had one here that I just, I was not even believing how tiny that little thing was. But they cut it in there at the factory. Uh, I don't know if their tools were getting worn out or what. Okay, those are the ones that use the, the notch. Those are the ones that use the notch. Now, the ones that use the spring, yeah, you're much better off with these. A lot of the machines have the spring, which means you don't have to worry about the notch and how they got the notch and how deep the notch. And is it straight up and down? No, you just slide her on there. Boom. Snap. Spin. Away you go. If you have this kind of a bobbin winder on a machine, if you're looking for a machine to buy, a lot of the Kenmores have these. Uh, this is the one I prefer, the ones with the post. Uh, nowadays, it's wackiness with all these bobbins. So you can grab a plastic one. Think, well, I'll get a plastic one. Yeah, because they're made in a mold. They're not machined. They're pretty good. So you get another plastic one because you bought them in the same batch. And you put it on there. It snaps right on. Snaps right on. Every now and then you'll get one that won't fit. It's got a piece of problem that they, they didn't polish off properly. But generally, by and, by and large, when it has a spring on it, you're way, way ahead of the game. But still, you'll get one every now and then. Let's find that one that has the mark on it here. Where'd that guy go? <laughs> Over here, here it is. This guy here. He said, well, I got one of these and it'll fit on there, right? No. It will not. You'll, you'll get it down on there, but you won't get it off. Or you'll yank and pull and break your bobbin winder. So those, man, it's a problem. And when you're buying bobbins, uh, take them home. Oh, the featherweights especially, because they're the ones we're having the biggest problem with because the, uh, the hole's too small. And uh, the daggone, uh, let's grab a featherweight bobbin here just for a the way Bob and the inside hole this is a customer here inside holes too small the sides aren't parallel the sides are too narrow together uh, everything in a world if you buy these from like the featherweight shop you'll have a better experience I'm pretty sure but still you want to test them because it's quality control and they will get past the uh, folks that are shipping them and the folks that are testing them they'll test them random and out of four in a pack one of them was absolutely a no-go so one out of four so when I buy a hundred of them and 25 of them don't work, I, t I throw those 25 away and that price, that cost rather, is transferred onto the other 75. So I'm not selling them for X, I'm selling them for X times 0.25 because that cost gets carried over because I still have to make my money on those bobbins. So the price of bobbins goes up when they're defective. And what's even worse is if you put a defective one in your machine, and it tears it up. You put one on the ones that has the post right here and it grinds this baby off, then you either have to have a new bobbin winder or a new post or something, but that, that won't be that won't be 25 cents. That'll be a whole bunch of money. So having problems with the bobbins, watch out for them and uh, beware. Thanks.